What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over Matt Letcher finally returning to the Arrowverse. So it was recently confirmed that Matt Letcher would return to Legends of Tomorrow Season 7 Episode 10. Um, now, of course, it's not confirmed that he's going to be playing Reverse Flash, but I mean, you know, it's Matt Letcher. Who else would he play? I think it's he's definitely going to be playing Eobard Thawne. Now, all we have in the promo photos is really just, you know, him, like, talking to Sarah at, like, this, I don't know, like, event or something like that. I don't know what's going to be going on here. But, yeah, make sure you guys comment below what you think Matt Letcher's role in this episode of Legends of Tomorrow was going to be. Uh, I have not seen any of the uh, of Legends of Tomorrow Season 7, so maybe I'll have to start watching it to, you know, uh, get up to speed with what might be going on with Matt Letcher. So with Eobard Thawne returning to the Arrowverse, there are a few questions that also come up. Like, first of all, the current uh, Reverse Flash that we know of is in Argus, and he doesn't have his speed, and he's being played by Tom Cavanaugh. So yeah, that really makes me think that this, you know, that this could even be like a, like a younger Reverse Flash or something like that. Uh, you know, the one that has not yet killed Barry's mother. I think I've uh, been wanting him to be the new Reverse Flash on The Flash. So maybe that's who this Reverse Flash is and he just ends up appearing on Legends of Tomorrow first before he ends up appearing on The Flash. I think that's definitely possible. But it also still looks like, by these set photos at least, that Thawne still knows who Sarah is. So maybe this is like a time remnant um, that was somehow created when Thawne was like being killed back in Legends Season 2. I think that's definitely possible. So I think, you know, that would be a pretty good explanation in regards to, you know, why exactly he still knows who Sarah is. But with that being said, we also have to consider the possibility that he's only back um, because of like a like a like a time travel scene. Like maybe uh, T Sarah and the rest of the legends they time travel back to the events of Legends Season Two or something like that, and they meet Matt Letcher's Eobarthon. I think that's possible, but also I think that'd be really unfortunate if that happens. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, it would still be really cool to see new scenes with Eobarthon for Matt Letcher. I'm also hoping in this episode when he returns they give several references to the Flash uh, and maybe even at the end of the episode Matt Letcher says something like I don't know something that makes him uh, makes it look like he's going to be returning on the Flash. I think that would be so cool. I'd be really happy with that. And by the looks of it, it kind of looks like Sarah and Thawne are kind of talking in a different time. This kind of looks like the past, if I were to guess. Uh, maybe like the 1800s or something like that. Because if you see in the background of this picture, you see some people wearing some very interesting clothing. Uh, Thawne is also wearing, you know, sort of old-fashioned clothing, it kind of seems like. Uh, so I think it's very possible they could be in the past here. So yeah, I don't exactly know why they'd be in the past. Uh, some of you guys probably have a theory on that down below. Make sure you guys comment that. Uh, but yeah, how I'd like everything to go is, you know, maybe, I don't know how long Matt Letcher's going to be on Legends of Tomorrow. Maybe he's going to be on there for more than just this episode. I think, you know, that would be pretty cool as well. But what if this uh, Eobarthon is actually, like, the current Reverse Flash? I think that would be, like, a very interesting uh, interesting thing to happen, although I believe it's also pretty unlikely. Um, now, how exactly would this happen? I think, you know, Eobarthon could have escaped somehow, um, and then, you know, he's a scientist from the future. He'd probably know how to get his speed back, because obviously, at least in the comics, at least, I believe he also mentioned this on the show, um, he gave himself his own speed. So I think he could just, you know, replicate that, and then he'd be back. Damn, he's connected to the negative speed force once again, and he has his speed again. So then I don't think that would er erase it from existence. I know that, uh, you know, when they take took away his speed, um, he that stopped him from being erased from existence. But I don't think him giving himself a new connection to the negative speed force would exactly take away his speed. Uh, so I think that they could say that to give him an excuse to get his speed back. Uh, and then he can just, you know, he can just go back to his normal, his normal, uh, his normal form. That, of course, being the original Eobard Thawne. So yeah, if this is like meant to be a younger Reverse Flash, I think that would be awesome. If this is like meant to be the current Reverse Flash, I think that would be super surprising, but also awesome. Now what I'm really hoping for is that Matt Letcher actually does return to the Flash and not just Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, I think it'd be really disappointing if he's only on Legends of Tomorrow because I've been wanting him to come back to the Flash since basically season four uh, when they just started using Tom Cavanaugh. And I just have to say this once again, um, it's not that Tom Cavanaugh's a bad reverse Flash, he's a pretty good reverse Flash. But it just makes zero sense that he's still in the suit. It, Matt Letcher is the only Reverse Flash that should be appearing. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense that Tom Cavanaugh is the one Reverse Flash. And they haven't even tried to explain why Tom Cavanaugh is the, the, still the face of Reverse Flash. They just kind of ignored it. 
But anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your thoughts on Eobard Thawne, the original Eobard Thawne, of course, being played by Matt Letcher, finally returning to the Arrowverse. Um, just, yeah, comment anything that you guys have to say about that, and I'll see you in the next video.